而家好污味，瞌睡咗，想瞓覺啦。<笑>美金打彩，昏昏欲睡。水平，哇！你真係好渣。<笑>差劲。屋企。家。买餸。买菜。Hong Kong is a city that is part of China, but also has a very distinct identity. According to the latest population census, a big part of what makes it stand out is the dialect of Chinese, spoken by 96% of the population, Cantonese. China's official dialect is Mandarin, also known as Putonghua. It originated during the late Qing Dynasty in the 17th century. Its pronunciation is based on the core vocabulary spoken by people in northern China. History books say Cantonese originated a century and a half earlier, around 220 A.D., after the fall of the Han Dynasty. Some linguists say it retains more ancient Chinese vocabulary. Depending on who you ask, Cantonese has six to nine tones, which involve melodic pitch in distinct ways to say words. Mandarin has only four tones, and there are major differences in spoken grammar. 有譬如話個杯水好大杯，好大隻，好大碟啊！個碟餸好大碟，普通話唔可以係咁樣講嘅。Cantonese is also widely used in local broadcasting. In 2000, Hong Kong broadcaster RTHK produced a series of radio dramas that translated Louis Cha Leung Yong's Chinese literary work *The Deer and the Cauldron* into Cantonese. The audio recordings were read by singer Yi Sen Chen. Good luck, Lord Ding Ge. I haven't even called you to die. You just want to ask me to ask you. That's not fair. Yes, the Chinese language. Even the city's name, Hong Kong, comes straight from Cantonese. At the start of British colonial rule, there was no standard way to write the city's name. Government officials did their best to write down the sound of what the locals called it, and their version of Hong Kong, meaning fragrant harbor, started to appear in maritime maps as early as the 1780s. In the early colonial days, education was often funded by village communities and religious missionaries. Later, the government started providing money to build English language skills at elite schools. In 1974, laws were changed to allow government-funded schools to choose their preferred language of instruction. During the same decade, other reforms were also put into place to provide equal rights to people speaking Cantonese and English, including in the judiciary. 比如話係立法會或者法庭嘅係要用英文審訊嘅，用英文開會嘅，應該就係九七之前前後咁嗰啲時期。又有誒母語教學嘅咁嘅政策，喺香港嚟講，個母語教學即係查曬用廣東話嚟到去教學嘅。There were more than 300 English secondary schools in Hong Kong in the 1980s, but the number dropped dramatically to around 100 in 1997. Many Hong Kongers who grew up in the 1980s learned Cantonese and English and can use them interchangeably. But Cantonese is the linguistic glue that creates a connection among many Hong Kongers. 誒，我覺得粵語有我哋自己嘅本土嘅一種嘅特色喺當中啦。舉個例子，誒，譬如話啊，我哋針針啦，咁個針針就我哋去傾傾啦，係咪 ？In day-to-day -day use, Hong Kongers often use colloquial Cantonese for writing too, something that shows up in everything from signboards to literature. Hong Kong writer Wong Bik Wan's 2012 book *Children of Darkness* vividly portrays gangsters in the city's Wan Chai district. The work offers a powerful demonstration of the literary possibilities of Cantonese. 已經成日混下混下，行路都歪歪斜斜，烏眉瞌睡，給兩個差人鬥，叫我細路。入高三就倒十五户，錢輸曬。Starting from 2008, some government officials, such as Choi Yu Clean of the Education Bureau, promoted Mandarin as the teaching language for Chinese classes in schools. Believing it would increase students' exposure to biliteracy and trilingualism, that's the official term for government policy that encourages all residents to be proficient in spoken Mandarin, Cantonese, and English, as well as in written Chinese and English. But as part of a 1998 revision of the school curriculum, Mandarin had already been taught as an independent subject for a decade. Some institutions didn't see a need to expand Mandarin education further. This primary school in Kowloon Tong was among them. Actually, we also consider that children's English is mainly Cantonese. So, the most easy to absorb for them is to learn Cantonese. The most easy to absorb for them is to learn Cantonese. 
廣東話啦。咁、呃、即如果從誒喺一路發展嘅階段裏面，我哋亦都未見到有好大嘅誒誘因，我哋要去行呢個普教中嘅時候，咁所以。呃、我哋暫時就仍然咧依循啊用學生最直接學習嘅方法咧，去維持住咁樣樣咯。你一定要有呢一個嘅警覺，得唔得意啦？就係、是、當我哋糾纏咗喺啲唔關事嘅嘢上面，雖然你嘅追問係啱嘅。Nam Hill Fung is also the coach for the school's Cantonese debate team。三分鐘。你你而家係要做反方嘅男位球，我哋先可以預計得更加。我喺學校咧，其實我主要係教中文同埋普通話嘅。咁我喺辯論隊當中咧，無論係去準備比賽，咁還是係去撰稿啊，呢四年幾嘅時間裏面，都係我主要同佢哋訓練成隊嘅辯論隊。咁我就都係主要係帶佢哋參加嗰、那個誒保良嗰個全港性校際比賽嘅。你考試考試如果係作文嘅話，咁你會唔會拎到全成？可能係鬆懈嘅，鬆懈咗，鬆懈。即係成個過程都用廣東話去溝通㗎啦，我哋咁誒好考小朋友個佢成個語文能力咯，應該咁講。因為個份稿要喺三分鐘之內讀完啊嘛，我哋咁我哋就、呃、又唔可以太少論點，又唔可以太多㗎嘛。咁我對佢哋要求咧，希望做到高低一樣啊，希望可以誒好、呃、清楚咁表達到俾對方聽、呃、我哋嘅論點咁樣樣。面佢理解程度嘅繁字，追求九十分。咁我哋人真好多時辰都會註定失望，包括今日呢場比賽，我哋嗰邊完咗自己得分嘅二十分，五分鐘追求六九十分，三位平局比曬五分，我哋都唔會滿意啦。在座各位，咁樣去理解辯題，一啲都唔合理。即因為辯論唔係淨係得個講啦，仲有好多嘅資料蒐集去組織都牽涉喺當中啦。咁同埋我哋要寫嘢啦，點樣去用支筆去表達我哋自己嘅？論點啊，同埋游說去人人哋嗰個方法啊，等等啊。係喎，你揾唔揾到張家朗嗰個？揾唔到張家朗，所以我揾大志榮咯。我知道佢嗰把聲。如果我哋仍然係用緊廣東話作為母語嘅時候，而我哋啊淘汰咗廣東話粵語誒誒做辯論，然後用普通話咧，咁我自己覺得係誒對小朋友嚟講係冇咁發揮自如㗎。Speaking of Cantonese lovers, Benjamin L. Young might be one of the most popular ones. As former host of the television show Sermon by Ben Sir, he taught viewers the meaning behind Cantonese swear words. 對於我我嚟講係好玩嘅，呢度係一個係一個創作嘅成分，同埋發明咗一個拍手掌呢個咁嘅咁嘅手勢。你粗口嗰個語言係係一啲 form 嘅嘢，咁拍手掌亦都係啲 form 嘅嘢。我只不過係轉換咗個 form 咁解啫。咁呢個喺語言裏邊唔係話咁新鮮嘅嘢。form 同編寧永遠都係一個一個一個對應嘅。我未曾試過收書嘅稿費可以咁開心嘅，收嗰啲 royalty 咁樣。Back in 2018, Al Yang openly criticized a statement by the Education Bureau, which claimed that Cantonese is not an official language in Hong Kong. He firmly defended Cantonese as the mother tongue of Hong Kongers. Because I've been out of the education field, I've been out of the education field, right? It's more than enough for me to be able to judge this thing. In the education field, to protect the Chinese language, is it the only choice? Then I have to go ahead and jump in, or to think that we're in the education field, we can protect the Chinese language easier. Some advocacy groups have even drawn the attention of law enforcement. This summer, Gong Yu Ha, a Cantonese advocacy group, announced it was disbanding after the founder's former home was raided by National Security Police. A Cantonese essay that had been published on the platform depicted a dystopian future without religious freedoms. For Hong Kongers who live overseas, Cantonese is crucial for remaining connected with their home city. Jeffrey Wong grew up in Hong Kong, where he earned a degree in translation before moving to the UK a few years ago. He started an Instagram account called Yu Toy, meaning the Cantonese channel. He creates posts of Cantonese phrases for his 120,000 followers every day. How do I choose these words? There are two criteria. The first is if I use Chinese or Chinese to talk about this word, it doesn't make sense. It's really only Chinese that has this expression. 跟住第二樣咧，就係我希望係喺零零年之前咧，已經係廣泛地俾俾人用緊嘅。有好大部分其實係啲海外嗰啲 heritage speaker， 佢哋叫自己做 heritage speaker， 就係因為佢哋可能係移民嘅二三代咁樣啦。咁啊，細個佢哋就冇認真咁去學廣東話。咁但係佢哋屋企，譬如祖父母或者父母嗰一代都係講廣東話嘅，所以就。
見到我 Instagram 或者 YouTube 咁就同我講話，誒、哎、都啊好多謝你啊咁啊，有啲我成日細個聽咁啊，又冇問過點解咁樣，又冇認真去學咁樣，跟住喺呢度學到咧，又同翻譬如啊同翻我阿爺講，哇佢好開心喎、啊，咁有好多誒嚟、呃、自廣東嘅勞工啊，跟住咧就去咗秘魯嗰邊定居喎，咁啱，咁你知其實秘魯其實係講西班牙嘅國家嚟噶嘛。好出奇地咧，佢哋有啲 long words 咧，其實喺廣東話度直譯過去。佢哋好中意嘅一個菜式叫炒飯啦，炒飯其實係炒飯，或者係誒豉油啦。咁豉油誒好、呃、多講西班牙嘅國家，佢哋會叫做誒 salsa de soya， 即係直譯 soy sauce 啦。咁但係喺秘魯咧，佢哋叫 sia。咁好明顯又係廣東話嚟嘅。Cantonese is more influential than most people can imagine. It has been preserved across time and continents. It also reflects how speaking in Chinese doesn't necessarily mean speaking in Mandarin. There are also Shanghainese, Hakka Chinese, Hokkien Chinese, and Minan. All variants of Chinese, also spoken by millions of people, all fiercely defending their own unique linguistic heritage. 如果唔講下一代，再下一代冇曬呢啲，咁係有少少即係可惜嘅地方咯，我覺得。